So there she is clocking over for you. I'm sure that the microphone's picking up that turbo line. She's in perfect time. Okay, what do we have here? This is a 1981 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup truck, aka Caddy LX, with the VNT15 ball bearing variable nozzle turbo on a 1.6 liter IDI eco diesel with a 5 speed manual. Nice little 50 mile per gallon half ton truck. Still a good solid little truck. cab here uh, the bad don't think the temperature gauge works haven't investigated it deeply fuel gauge does work clock works speedometer all that works uh, the light on the oil pressure comes on when it has oil pressure it goes out if it loses oil pressure uh, the rest of that pretty much works yeah uh, oh. So, yeah, minor issues there. Oh, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, that blows lots of air. Uh, oh, get my foot off it. Hazards. Uh, oh, we got a boost gauge here. With the VMT-15, it can run upwards of 16 pounds of boost. That's up to you. Right now we have it set where it limits out at about 6 pounds of boost. Uh, that is adjustable under the hood. Uh, we were installing an oil temperature gauge, but because the dash's water temperature gauge didn't work, we're using that as the water temperature gauge. And over here we have a pyrometer. Now when you're running upwards of 16 pounds of boost, your pyrometer temperatures can climb above 800. Uh, with it limited to 6 pounds of boost, that pyrometer stays respectfully down around 600. 
uh, 1200s really where things get are getting hot but uh, to run the higher boost levels it would be recommended to make use of the ports in the intake for a aquamist injection liquid intercooler here I'll show you some of that work so underneath the hood here we have the artfully done VNT 15 adaptation to this 1.6 eco diesel one of the things was a Mark II gasser intake manifold matched up easy enough to get a much nicer flowing plenum. As you can see, a lot of care and detail was taken into even building the trumpet for the J-tube feed horn from the VNT15 turbo. That VNT15 turbo has a fully sealed push you pull me wastegate. So you can program it to actuate by vacuum or pressure or a combination of both. Um, this intake manifold has a couple of 1 8 NPT fittings for uh, like a aqua mist liquid intercooler. Uh, water injection mist system or temperature probes or propane injection HHO etc. The bad is it does look like it could use a a uh, valve cover gasket there actually happens to be one in the parts supply it looks like we might have a couple of wet injectors they're leaking around the case a little now the injector bodies uh, are the uh, turbo injector bodies with a uh, side cut a nozzle which helps them be better self-cleaning right there's good oil filter on it and the oil tap and feed line to the turbo there's the fuel canister it comes with a spare fuel canister uh, brake fluid's happy. It actually has a brand new install clutch pressure plate and all that. And then new installed starter. Cause... The exhaust manifold is wrapped in turbo blanket. It's put in a socker or a whatever they call that. But anyways, it's got a turbo blanket wrap around it to keep the energy in the exhaust all the way up to the turbo and not in the engine compartment or induction system. Oh, here, let's start it for you. The truck has a very well built exhaust, two inch exhaust pipe back from the turbo, ends in this evacuation megaphone. Uh, it has here a, it looks like a glass pipe, it's actually a. Uh, heating chamber for a fluid and it has another one up front there. These chambers have I believe 8th inch NPT fittings on their high and low sides to circulate your working fluid for the scroll compressor to make use of the waste heat in the exhaust system. Tread and tread depth on all tires, it's very respectable.
about that right there nicely siped high traction that looks like 165 80 r13